some hype beast actually um it looks like sally bembury has released another leak another i i sneak peek at his up and coming new balance collaboration and it looks absolutely banging and it made me think yeah it made me think something that i've been ruminating on my own a little bit was it maybe unwise to given the new balance creative director role for the usa right new balance usa creative director role to the ami leon door guy wouldn't, wouldn't a far better choice for that creative director role would have been somebody like a Salil Bembry or is that you pronounce his name Salil Salihi Salihi right? Salihi probably Salihi or Salihi I don't know. Mr. Bembry do you think it would have been a far better choice to give this creative director role of New Balance USA to someone like Mr. Bembry especially when you consider the amount of hits that he's had with these um, New Balance shoes so far one two three back to back to back absolute bangers and he comes with this that was absolutely fantastic right it's kind of like it's like he's upgraded and brought into you know modern life a very classic New Balance shape and updated it with some crazy new bits of tech and you know whatever it may be on the midsole i don't know maybe there's an argument for it but it says the following on hypebeast it says after dropping the water uh, sorry water be the guy 20 2000 r or 200 r sorry in june and um, benbury has taken to instagram to reveal the first look at his fourth collaboration with new balance a suede gray take on the brand's classic 574 model so it's the classic 574 that's been upgraded or basically brought into um the modern age they've obviously done something to the midsole they've changed some paneling here on the toe box it looks like off the color the shape the tongue's different as well but it looks absolutely banging here. Um, upon the glance, it's evident that the new silhouette veers away from the very to the Benbury's past collaborations from a technical perspective. The shoe's upper construction employs mesh and suede. We know that also ident unidentical, so unidentified whistle-like component extends from the back of the upper. What's a whistle? Is a whistle? What's a whistle? Oh, this thing here. Okay, so maybe you can pump it with your mouth or something. Ah, oh, interesting. Maybe I don't really know. That'd be interesting. Or maybe you could put some water in the back of your heels and drink out of your uh, drink out of your shoe. Do, do you could basically do a shoey without having to do a shoey. Um, the tongue's front lacing system reads URT five seven four, confirming the shoe's signature lineage and hinting at the official name. Okay, for for sure you know what's gonna happen, right? Oh look at that! Yeah, that's a kind of it looks, it looks like a I don't know. It looks like you could either suck it or you can pump it, right? absorb cbss on the other side i don't really know what's going on there but they look absolutely banging um at the time of writing release day and pricing information is yet to be released but we're gonna get more soon but yeah these look absolutely banging benbury absolutely went ham on these man they look fucking amazing so yeah i don't know man maybe i'm in the minority here but i think maybe he should have got the creative director role at new balance first and then you give it to an million dollars second especially when you're considering what we've seen so far from um Amelion Dor, when it comes to MB collaborations, they're getting a little bit boring, right? I love the guys. I think clothing wise, they're in a league of their own, but the sh collaborations with New Balance aren't really hitting the way they should be hitting. They kind of remind me a little bit of what Kiff were doing back in the day. They had a couple of standouts, and then they slowly but surely veered off the side of a cliff in terms of, you know, boring conformity, sort of like, you know, playing to the hits and to the favorites. It got a little bit boring and safe. But, you know, for the, what we've seen so far, Benbury definitely from what he did the, yeah from the third pair to this like do you know what I mean like from the colors to the exp like everything he's definitely gone completely opposite and tried to do something a little bit more monotone a little bit less fast flashing in your face and then suddenly now look at it just look at that shoe man absolutely banging it really really is banging update look at the 574 hopefully we get an update look of it soon official date soon it'll definitely sell out and all that malarkey you probably won't be able to get a pair but it's fun to discuss nonetheless